Zoe Deutsch and I am going to walk you through my everyday skincare routine and then everyday beauty look. I want to preface it by saying that I don't actually know anything and I just know that this is what works for me and um, so excited to go on this journey together. Great! Yesterday was my last day of shooting here um, in New York and so I got to sleep a lot for the first time last night, nine hours. So this is a particularly depuffing uh, skincare routine because I'm VV puffy from sleeping too much. I don't feel like that's fair. I feel like you should be rewarded from, for sleeping a lot, not punished, you know? Okay, here we have, they're called freeze tools and they look like that. It's so cold. <laughs> it's like a brain freeze from the outside in. And then I'll do this. Again, this is not something I do every day. I don't I don't want to lie to you and say I have that, you know, I spend 30 minutes every morning doing skincare, but when I look puffy and whatever, and then I go like that. <sighs> oh my God, I can't see. <laughs> I've had hormonal acne since I was like, I wanna say 15, but it got really bad in my 20s. It shouldn't make me that self-conscious, but I, I can't make eye contact, I don't wanna go, you know, those kind of things that you hear that you're like, oh, what a sob story, but really when you're going through it, it is it's um, it is debilitating. You have to figure out what works for you. So again, this is what works for me, and here we go. So here's, it's IS Clinical. It's literally the only cleanser I can use that doesn't make me break out. And I like to use this Foreo, shenanigans to apply it. Especially when you're taking off makeup, it's so important to get all of it off. And this is a great little assistant in that. Okay, it's an antibiotic wipe. It's changed my life. I have to use it. I think also uh, partially, it just also even more so gets rid of any makeup, residue makeup that's on there too, which is a plus. Stings a little. Moisturizers. Moisturizers are, I think, for me, product-wise, the thing that trigger my like cystic hormonal acne the most. So, get ready for a dual moisturizer moment. La Mer um, Moisturizing Soft Cream, from here up. Fancy schmance. I use this stuff for my chin. Uh, it was recommended to me by a dermatologist. Then I use the La Mer Eye Concentrate, the new one. I love it. And it comes with a fancy tool. One time I watched someone do three dots and now I always do three dots. Again, if I have time. I love this thing. Another face vibrator. The gold bar thing. It is awesome. So everyone says you should only go up, which makes sense. I guess you're trying to lift, not fall. <laughs> My last thing that I almost forgot to tell you, which people make fun of me all the time for, I was in Sundance one year and I have never been more dry in my life. High altitude, it's snowing, whatever. Went to the pharmacy and I got, there's the only thing, this was the only thing left, which was Neosporin. Uh, lip health is what it's called. I cannot live without this. I am obsessed with it. Neosporin, I love you. You've changed my life. Tay Noir, my favorite. Tay Noir 29. Some people do like weird, like fancy stuff. I just go straight, straight in. Then I like to use hydrating face mist stuff by Dr. Barbara Stern. My mom thinks I'm a crazy person for how much I love makeup and skincare because she doesn't pay attention. She, I don't know, she looks like she's three years old. She doesn't work out. She doesn't know anything about skincare or makeup. And then there's me. I spent every dollar I've ever made on <laughs> lip liners and every single thing, skincare tool that exists. Oh, I love this brush. Tangle, te Tangle Teaser. I love this brush so much. It's the best. Um, and I'm not a natural redhead. Uh, I'm like a boring, ugly brown. 
but my hair, I've stayed a redhead because my hair wants to stay red. So I've decided that's it's the easiest color to maintain for me. Foundation first because it gives me, once I see that my skin isn't 7,000 different colors, uh, it gives me the confidence to continue with my makeup. If I start with eyes and then I see what this looks like, I'm like, Suku. This is the only foundation that I use. I love it so much. I buy it um, on Selfridges because they don't sell it in the US. It's from Japan. I do this. I don't know, instead of using like a primer, I just put it on my eye. One thing that drives me crazy is when there's like a, when it doesn't go, when you don't blend it down. I, 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 when I like catch myself in some reflective surface that I've passed by that I look at because I am a vain actress and God forbid I pass by a reflective surface and don't look at it and I see like a line or a line here, I'm like, <gasps> so, gotta get that one. Bobbi Brown Ivory Creamy Concealer under eye. This is the part where I'm gonna decide what kind of eye I wanna do. Every day of my life, and I even have two of them here. Um, okay, like everybody, there's one product that I have fallen in love with that they no longer make. And uh, for me, it's, I got it when I was 12, probably, at my CVS, my local CVS. It's a Maybelline um, palette called Chai Latte. As you can see, this is the only one I use. I have 12 of them. When they discontinued it, I went to every single drugstore in the valley to get it. And um, I'm slowly but surely running out. Uh, my favorite color I used in the crease. I'm using a different brush to blend it out. <laughs> Why? Well, <laughs> just make weird faces. This is a Suku palette. I like pinks and peachy situations. And then I love these Dior, Dior backstage palettes. They're super pretty. I do kind of do one eye entirely and then the next. I don't know why, is that not normal? No, it's not normal. Follow your heart, do what you like to do. Not what other people tell you to do. Except for me, if I tell you to do it, you should do it. Just kidding. I do this thing, I realize when I look in the mirror, I like lift my eyebrows, but really what you should do is you should keep them exactly how they actually are when you're doing makeup instead of, that's especially if, if you have glittered eyes like me, um, when you're doing wings. Like don't go like this or pull it to, Keep it where it is, because it's gonna. That's how it's gonna look. That was something the hard realization I had to come to. So, all-time favorite lips of ever, ever. Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk. I have to overdraw the this side a little, cause it's smaller than the other side, so it looks uneven. Mac Extended Play. When I work with a new makeup artist, or for a job, or whatever, shoot, I always bring my own um, foundation, because my skin sensitivity. And I always, the only thing I really ask them is, do you use a waterproof mascara? Because a lot of people do, and it's the worst thing for your eyelashes. It just tears them off. The, the you don't need to use like, that stuff that grows your eyelashes, or any of those chemicals near your eye, which to me, freak me out if you just take care, if you just don't use mascara that strips your eyelashes off. Just also, you have to take your mascara off every day. You must, <laughs> you have to. It's very serious. I do a little here. Whoops. The my slur thingies. Now for the most important blush of all time. Chanel. It's called Golden Sun. This, I have four of them. One is always in my purse. I got dual Chanel things. This one's for blush, this one's for powder. I just put too much on. I put a little on my nose. Looking more like a human. I love this stuff, but powders, I'm, I'm not like married to any powders. I, I like to try different powders out. Right now, I'm really into this Blot Powder Pressed um, MAC. I get really oily here and here. Remember right there, a little bit. I'm using the wrong thing, this is the blush brush. Jesus Christ, 
Okay, now I'm gonna do this. I love this stuff. It's another powder, Cogendo. Clearly love Kylie Gloss. Hey Kylie. Um, I mean, it's gone. And this, which I haven't told you about yet. It's Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called? Dolly Bird. Interesting. And the reason is, I put it on my nose, put it here, here, and it's supposed to be lipstick. And I'll also put it on my lips, but I don't need to right now. I'm not done here. Brows. Has anyone ever plucked their eyebrows on one of these before? I don't wax my eyebrows. I don't see anyone. I don't, I just let them run free. I tried to get them waxed once for my bat mitzvah and it was a tragedy of epic proportion, so. Okay, I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown Natural Brow Shaper. I'm not married to any specific um, like brow thing. Sometimes if I don't have anything, I'll use hairspray and I'll just put it on a spoolie. That works great. Gel, it doesn't, it, you just, I just want to, I have like, I think I have like a cowlick there though, so it's important that I bring this one up to match this one. Okay, now I'm gonna use the clear one. I'm having a hard time saying goodbye to you guys, okay? It's really, I just, I've gotten so close. I've gotten makeup all over this shirt. Oh my, oh my God. This is a, this is it. This is my final look. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, 